Ooh, Zoraki, bro. In this chapter, you are something else. People, Bleach at the 524. It is that Bleach time. Let's fucking go. Now, Zoraki, bro, you are getting exposed. So damn hard right now. You are getting exposed by none other than that first Kenpachi, Una Hana. Una Hana. That bitch is getting up in Zaraki's booty hole. She is tearing that ass up. Okay, now, now, people, wait a minute. Pump your brakes. Pump your fucking brakes. I understand that Zaraki is fighting the first Kenpachi, but still, he is getting exposed. Okay, now, we have never seen Zaraki act like this or, like, uh, see him like this in this state because he's... He's scared, like he he's in fear, he's sweating bullets, like am I gonna die right now? Am I, am I gonna die here? No, not now. Like we always see Zoraki embrace death, but now he is scared death and he's in fear. I mean, the first time he fought Unahana, he was in fear. And now he's fighting Unahana. He's still in fear of the same person. Like Unahana got game like that? Unahana got game like that still? Damn, bitch. Like, come on. Like, Unahana, I understand what she's doing. I understand what she's trying to do. She's trying to break the rocket down and push the rocket to the, to the breaking point so he can extend to the next level, okay? Because she's trying to teach the rocket the art killing. She's trying to teach what she knows onto Zaraki, okay? She's trying to teach Zaraki. The only way to teach Zaraki is to fucking go heads up and beat the dog shit out of him, okay? She's trying to... People have to understand. She's trying to train... Zaraki, okay, uh, Koryaku wants Unahana to train Zaraki the art of killing. That's what she's going to do. Her training methods are hardcore because look who she's fighting, Zaraki. You got to be hardcore. You got to have, like, come on, like, Zaraki. Now, the beginning of the, the, ch the chapter, Yachiru and Isane, Isane, you know, found a letter to her by Unahana, and Yachiru found the eye patch of Zaraki, and you know they like you know they're sad and they know somebody's going to die. Zoraki Unohana, somebody's gonna come out that bitch, dead or alive. So uh, it'll be one or the other. But I I wish Kubo would do something with these characters a little bit more. I wish you can feel more about Yatru and, and, and Isane because like especially with Yatru Yatru because we we know the like the the Costco BJ sample of. Yachiru, we know that Zoraki and her are close, and that's Zoraki Vice Captain. I, I I know she's strong. She has to be fucking strong because that's Zoraki Vice Captain. And Zoraki likes strong people. And we always see Yachiru on Zoraki's shoulder, on, on his back. I mean, we have still yet to see her unsheath her sword. We have never seen her fucking fight, and Bleach is... Over 500 chapters deep, still ongoing, and he have yet to see her fucking fight. Yet to really get to know about the characters of Yachu and Isane. I wish we can, uh, like, Kubo should have built these characters up, like, like in Soul Society, a little bit more, especially Yachu. And we understand that Zraki and y Unahana, I mean, she has, or she have this sin that's lingering over her that she said that she mentioned in the chapter and Zaraki, you know, he became bored of like slashing and and, and fighting these people and fighting like these crusty people until he fought Unahana, like a real fight and he the first time he felt fear and he, like when he fought Unahana, that's that's that was then he knew that he wanted to be like her and fight like her. And, you know, cause he, we, we think Yachu became like her name came from. I mean, Jaraki mentioned that, you know, that name came for the, from the person that he looked up to. Unahana. And, you know, we get a little more in-depth, a little, little Costco BJ sample of Unahana and Zaraki. You know, Zaraki looked up to her. Unahana, you know, you know what he felt during the first time battle with Unahana. You know, pretty pretty cool chapter of Bleach. Pretty, you know, you know, some, some. I mean, yeah, I, we want to know about these things. We want to know about Unahana and Zaraki and their relationship and the connection and their history. Also, we want to know about Unahana more. First Kenpachi, her sins, and you know, who, who, how, to get, how she get that room. And, like, how the battle between Zaraki and Unahana passed. And Zaraki, like, Zaraki, in a chapter, he thought he got stabbed by Unahana. 
because he thought Una stab her, stab him in the throat. But I'm pretty sure that the trick to it. I'm like, come on, man, that's Una Hana. Eight stabs deep are killing. You know what I'm saying? He thought he died right there. You know. But Una Hana in this chapter, like she is. I, I, she, I know what she's trying to do. I understand sure what she's trying to do. But people, Bleach at the 524. You guys thoughts on Zaraki and Unahana connection and Zaraki's little tidbits past of of the coming board fighting people and slashing things until he met Unahana. The first time he felt fear and you know that was then he knew that he wouldn't become a fight like that person. That's then he knew that he looked up to this person. And and we see Zaraki in the state of fear and scared of death like we never seen before. It's something to be seen. It's like, yo, is it Rocky? Mad dogs Rocky. Unahana? Bam. Exposing Zaraki to the point of no return. Maybe. We don't know yet, but it's bleach. But I see you guys later, man. It's bleach up the bleach up the 524. Zaraki getting exposed. Bam. In your face.